the amazing soul, the Vedic introduction. The Vedic wisdom tradition offers us a coherent, cogent, and extensive body of knowledge about the soul. One of the defining characteristics of the Vedic wisdom tradition in general and the Bhagavad Gita in particular is its clear and analytical treatment of the subject of the soul. It does not treat the soul vaguely as a metaphorical reference to our intangible essence. Rather, it presents the soul concretely as a very real spiritual entity with its own distinctive characteristics. We sometimes say in the West, I have a soul. But I think from the Bhagavad Gita's perspective, it would be more correct to say, I am the soul and I have a body. The soul is what provides cognition to uh, an awareness to the body. And it's the soul that is the part of us that's, that is aware, that feels. The Amazing Soul, Consciousness Personified. Consciousness does not originate in the brain. Then where does it originate? The Bhagavad Gita explains that it originates from the soul. The Bhagavad Gita 13.34 illustrates the relationship between the soul and consciousness with a vivid example. O son of Bharata, as the sun alone illuminates all this universe, so does the living entity, one within the body, illuminate the entire body by consciousness. This verse indicates that just as the sun illuminates the universe, the soul illuminates the body with consciousness. This implies that just as sunlight is the symptom of the sun, consciousness is the symptom of the soul. The, the power the, the, of the soul extends throughout the entire body. There's a, a passage in the Kata Upanishad which describes the, the soul as like the sun. It illuminates a particular area. Sometimes it's described like a, a lamp or, or a candle. It provides the light of a candle will fill up a room in the same way that the, the illumination of the soul will fill up the body. If we are inside a room and can't see the sun in the sky outside, we can still infer its presence by observing its symptom, sunlight. Similarly, even though we are not able to see the soul inside the body, we can still infer its presence by observing its symptom, consciousness.